In this video, we're getting set up with the Phantom ecosystem. This means we need to get our wallet set up and enabled to the Phantom Opera network. We also need to get some FTM tokens onto the wallet as FTM is the gas of the network. Plus, I'm gonna show you how to bridge funds from either ETH or BSC over to Phantom. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, first and foremost, things to note, you're gonna need a MetaMask account. If you haven't set up a MetaMask previously, come and check this video out here, how to Uniswap. I go through the full setup process. It's very simple and easy to do, but you need to be up to scratch with that before we can commence. The second step that I would highly recommend is having a VPN. This could be for a few reasons. For example, if you can't use Binance in your jurisdiction, but you'd like to use Binance, you can ensure that your VPN shows that you're from a different country so you can use their facilities. But on top of this, it is very handy to use a VPN to keep yourself private and secure online, especially when dealing with cryptocurrency. There are many scams out there. So here we have Phantom, the token price now 82 cents. This is the gas of the ecosystem. In the same way that ETH is the gas of the Ethereum network, FTM is the gas of the Phantom network. So you will need to acquire some of this. I'm also gonna show you how to use a force it to get some for free to get you started. So once we have some Phantom, we can start looking at the Phantom ecosystem. As mentioned, this is an EVM compatible environment, so a very similar feel to that of ETH, but here we can transact for around three cents, which makes the ability to use yield farms, to do borrow lens, and generally just create some passive income streams for yourself a lot easier and a lot cheaper than you can do on ETH. So getting the custom RPC added to your MetaMask is step number one. There's a whole documents tab here from the Phantom team. And what you need to do is click on your MetaMask account, pull down the list of mainnets, and I've already got mine set up, Phantom Opera there, but you would go to custom RPC, and then you would follow all the instructions outlined down here. However, recently there's been an update to some of the nodes, and so the RPC URL has changed. No need to fret here, a very simple way to get around this and a very easy way to enable this chain directly onto your MetaMask with zero fuss. So the simple way to do this is to go directly to spookyswap.finance. Essentially, this is kind of the pancake swap of Phantom or maybe even the Uniswap of Phantom, depending on what chain you're used to. And so all you need to do is go to connect wallets, then connect your MetaMask up, provide the access and all that good stuff, and it should connect you. It will notify you that it's adding a new network, press confirm, and then if you're on a different network, just press switch network. Once you follow those steps on screen, you will then see Phantom Opera added to your list. So pretty straightforward, we've now got Phantom added to our MetaMask. Now we can simply check that our address is live and kicking. Just go to your account, ensure you're on the Phantom Opera mainnet, then copy your address, head over to ftmscan.com, essentially the ether scan of Phantom and paste your address in. So there we have it, we can see our address is live and I actually have a balance already. Now once you set up your Phantom account on MetaMask, if you've previously been using that MetaMask account and you've maybe got like Matic Network, BSC enabled, the team at Phantom recently took a snapshot of all EVM compatible wallets. And so you may find that there is already an airdrop of 0.05 Phantom already on your MetaMask. So your balance may say 0.05 FTM and this will allow you to do like one transaction on the Phantom mainnet. So a nice way to get started with this ecosystem. However, if you do not have an airdrop in there of 0.05 FTM, no need to worry. We're gonna head to the faucet and you can see down here, I claimed from this faucet just over one day ago and the faucet sent me 0.29 FTM. So let's jump into the faucet and show you how that works. So this is the Discord of SpookySwap, that same site that just easily added the Phantom ecosystem to our MetaMask. You can find a link to their Discord on their site. When you get yourself over here, go to the Faucet tab, and then in here, you just type the command exclamation mark and Faucet. The bot told me off as I've already claimed for the month, but what will happen is it will send you a DM. So you go and find Phantom Tip Bot and you send the following command, exclamation mark, withdraw, then a space and then paste in your wallet address. And then it will send you an airdrop of Phantom Token to ensure you have enough gas on that wallet to do a good few transactions. Now, another way to get some Phantom onto your account, if you are already a Binance user, 
you can withdraw directly to the Phantom network. So you just go on to Binance, buy some FTM tokens and withdraw to your Phantom address. So either take it off the Explorer or go into your MetaMask and take your address from there and then add that as a whitelist address on Binance. Be aware of the fees on Binance as they are sometimes a little bit high and there is a minimum withdrawal level as well. So the faucet for me, probably the easiest option. So with the wallet enabled and some Phantom on hand, now it's time to bridge across some funds so we can play ball with this ecosystem. Now on Spooky Swap, they've got a load of different things that you can do. You can farm, become an LP provider for many different pools and get a nice APR here. Quite a few of these over 100%, so this could be nice and lucrative. You can also stake their token called Boo and earn some XBoo, then put this to work in another pot and earn either Scream or Wrapped Phantom. So plenty of options on there for all you DGENs out there, some nice yield farming opportunities. So we wanna get some funds over. How do we do this? Well, we need to bridge. Now you could just go directly to any swap. However, this app is already embedded within Spooky Swap. So you can see Spooky Swap seems to be a nice first port of call on this ecosystem where we can do a lot of things. Now, both Spooky Swap and Any Swap have been fully audited, and there's been a lot of users bridging their funds over via this method, so no issues found so far. So, what it says here is bridge to and from the Phantom Opera network and receive the same token that you sent. Now, we can either move funds from ETH to Phantom or we can select a different route. Now, I want to move some funds from Binance's smart chain over to Phantom. So, I'll select BSC from the drop down here here, spin that across, and it's gonna ask me to switch the network to BSC, which I will do. So now my wallet here on MetaMask is connected to BSC, and this is where my BSC funds are gonna come from, and then they're gonna end up on the Phantom blockchain. You have to select a token to bridge over. There are limited options, BNB being the one that I would recommend here, and then do ensure that you leave enough BNB gas behind if you want to use that wallet again. I'm gonna bridge over one BNB right now. So you can see there's a maximum amount, 7,500 that can be bridged at once and a minimum of 0 0.044 BNB. And it says the fee is zero, but there will be a gas fee. So all you have to do then is press bridge token. Then the gas fee is very small and you press confirm. In the top right, you can see the transaction is now pending. So we'll just give that a minute to go through. Now it took about 60 seconds and now you can see the deposit is confirmed and the transfer as well. So we should be good to go with our BNB now on Phantom. So let's jump over to the swap tab over here and let's pull up the pair that we wanna swap between. So I'm gonna get my BNB here. And if you don't have much Phantom on hand at this point, you wanna ensure that you add to your Phantom stack for gas but I'm actually gonna to swap to the Boo token. So swapping one BNB, I'm gonna get around 32 Boo right now. Hardly any price impact as it's a relatively small trade. And I'm prompted down the bottom to connect my wallet to Phantom. As I'm still on BSC, I just pull up Phantom here. So that's now connected. We need to approve our BNB to be spent. And now the approvals happened, we can now swap our BNB into the Boo token. And the fee for doing this just under 2% of one phantom. That faucet drop that I got earlier of 0.29 phantom will go quite a long way to providing me with a few transactions on the network. So now I've got 32 boo on hand and now I'm gonna go ahead and stake my boo as this has a like revenue share component where some of the trading fees are used to buy back boo from the open market and distribute them to the stakers. And if this ecosystem is likely to grow and Spooky Swap being the main exchange over here, I think this is a pretty good bet. So I need to approve my boo and then get those staked up. So I'm just gonna click max and then confirm. And there we have it, my stake has just gone through and I should be getting an approximate APR of around 39%. And I'm sure we'll follow up on this protocol in the not too distant future. But for now, I think we've gone through the main components of getting started. So step one is get a MetaMask account. Step two, ensure you've got a VPN enabled. Step three, get the Phantom Opera network added to your MetaMask. Step four, 
go ahead, claim some FTM from the faucet so you have gas for the network. And then step five, bridge any funds that you need via spooky swap and then you can start playing around within the phantom ecosystem so i hope this video was very helpful for you guys at home if it was drop me a thumbs up let me know how your experience goes over here and i'm sure we will catch up soon thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one